Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be discussing an error that comes up on a D13 Volvo. It's a P20 DE and it has to do with the after treatment system's fuel pressure. It's not receiving the right signal. So I'm going to show you what we did. I'm going to show you how we fixed it, what we did to actually pinpoint the problem so that you can get this done and get it fixed on your truck if you're having this issue. So if you have low fuel pressure on your after treatment system fault on Evolvo, this video is for you. Thank you for joining us. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas 75241. Let's get right into this video. Okay, first I wanna explain what this fault is. Basically, it's a fault saying that the fuel pressure from the after treatment system is not enough or it's not reaching the right pressure, not reaching the ECM. So most platforms use a dozer block, which dozes fuel to a seventh injector, which is after the turbo to create heat for the after treatment system. Now they do that for regeneration. So this particular design uses air over fuel. So there's truck air going to this dozer block and that, that air pushes the fuel over to the seventh injector. So as you can see, there's a lot of components and we need to actually troubleshoot to pinpoint where the problem is actually coming from. The first test that we did is a pressure test. Now what we did is we, we use these tools to reduce the airline to an actual test gauge so we can physically see or manually see the pressure coming from the truck. And in this case, the pressure came back just fine. If we had low pressure, then of course we would troubleshoot that further. Sometimes that could be a clogged air dryer, clogged air dryer filter, or a bad valve or a leaking line. That's why it's important and I always recommend replacing your air dryer at least once a year. We're gonna move over to the dozer block now. I'm gonna tell you the next steps. I wanna show you the next steps that we took to actually help pinpoint this problem. So let's move over to the truck and move on. All right, so we're up under the truck. This is the dozer block here on a D13 Volvo. It's located behind the fuel filter housing. This is the dozer block here, as I mentioned. This line here is the actual fuel line going over to the seventh injector. On the front of it is the fuel line coming into the dozer block. This is the air supply from the truck. And here is our fuel pressure sensor for the after treatment system. Since this is where we're getting our fault, this is where we've been testing out here. We've already tested manually that our air pressure coming from the truck is good. Now, our next step is testing to see if the signal is correct. Now, what this tool does is it turns that air pressure signal over to a actual voltage signal. Now, this is a very light voltage. It's only about 50 millivolts. So since that voltage is so light, it's very important that there's no issues with the harness. Now, we were tested fine with manual pressure. We tested fine with the signal. Our next step is testing the harness. Now, when we test the harness, we're basically gonna make sure that there's no opening between that actual pressure sensor and the actual ECM. When we tested the harness, we found there was an opening. So we're gonna recommend replacing the harness. Some of these harnesses can be just repaired, but if you have a high mileage engine, it's best to replace a harness because you don't want another sensor not getting, it's getting the actual signal to the ECM and having repeat problems. Make sure you're taking these types of troubleshooting steps if you have this fuel pressure after treatment system fault, because if you don't, you could have truck supply, air supply issues, or you could have um, a, a sensor that's bad because if the harness actually tests it out fine, then that would indicate that we have a sensor problem. So guys, I hope all this information is useful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope this information was useful. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or when we release a new video. We've seen that over 80% of our viewers are not subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any problems with your Volvo or your D13 Volvo or D12, 
give us a call, 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. Guys, until next time, be safe.